Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Good afternoon. I am Mahafuz Raman Munna. I am going to present on Rashba Spin Orbit Coupling. So this is the outline of my presentation. So what is spin orbit coupling? The spin orbit interaction, which is also called spin orbit effect or spin orbit coupling, is a relativistic interaction of a particle's spin with its motion inside the potential. Now, as you can see in the right side of this slide, that there is a nucleus which will be positively charged and an electron is moving around the nucleus. Now, due to this positively charged nucleus, there will be electric field whose direction will be towards the radius of the circular path. Now, since in a stationary electric field, there is electron moving. So according to, according to a special theory of relativity, this electron will experience a relativistic magnetic field which is given by this equation. Now, if we replace V, which is the velocity of the particle, by P bhag M, which is the momentum of the particle and M is the mass of the particle. And I have already said that the direction of this electric field will be towards radius. Hence, we can write down E as E divided by R it R. So we are saying that the electric field is along the radius direction. Now if we replace this, then we'll find this equation for the relativistic magnetic field. Now, as you can see, there is a term which is R cross P. Now R cross P is basically angular momentum. If we replace R cross P as L, and if we replace E as the gradient of potential, then we will get the relativistic magnetic field as this equation, which is proportional to orbital angular momentum. And we know that due to electron spin, there is a spin magnetic moment of electron, which is given by this equation. And if in a magnetic field, there is a magnetic moment, then the energy of a magnetic moment in a magnetic field is given by this equation, which is del is equal to minus mu dot d. So if you now, in this equation, we replace mu as this equation and b as this equation. We will get the energy of the magnetic moment in a magnetic field, which is nothing but the spin orbit potential. Now, this potential is proportional to orbital angular momentum dot spin. So, that's why this is called spin orbit coupling. So, we all know that we can find out EK relationship by using Schrodinger equation. Now, Schrodinger equation is a non-relativistic equation. So it cannot handle e spin orbit potential automatically. We need to use perturbation theory. And so this is the first order. So this is the first order energy correction. And this H dash is nothing but the perturbing potential. For our case, the e spin orbit potential. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about Rajbi e spin orbit coupling, which is almost the same thing, but here the electric field will not be generated by uh, a nucleus, rather it will be generated otherwise. Now, before going into Rajbi e spin orbit coupling, we need to discuss about one important thing, which is inversion symmetry. Now, what is inversion symmetry? So this is a structure of benzene atom. As you can see, that suppose this is the center of the atom. Now, if I go along this direction, then from this, then about d distance, we will get this carbonate. Now, if I move in the opposite direction, about same d distance, then I get the same carbon atom. So, if I go either direction, either this direction or either this direction, I will get the same atom. This is called inversion symmetry. Now, if this symmetry is broken in a system, then Rashbi spin orbit coupling is generated. Now, in an interface of a structure, for example, gallium arsenide or aluminum gallium arsenide structure, or in a quantum well, 
or at the surface, this inversion symmetry will be broken. And there will be an interfacial electric field, which is given by this equation. There will be an interfacial electric field. And again, this electric field is stationary. And if an electron is moving through the material, then it will experience a relativistic magnetic field. Again, in this relativistic magnetic field, is, uh, the electron also has a spin magnetic moment. And due to that spin magnetic moment, that magnetic moment will have energy. And that energy is given by this equation. So this is basically the Rashba spin orbit coupling equation. Okay, so now we are going to talk about some important physical phenomena that arises due to this Rashba spin orbit coupling. So we all know that the EK relationship in the conduction and valence band of a parabolic relationship. And for both electron with up and down spin, we'll have the same EK relationship, which is given by this equation equal to P square for twice the star. Now, if there are rash of spin orbit coupling, then the spin orbit potential will act as a perturbing potential to the original system. And that perturbing potential will perturb the system. As a result, we will need to do energy correction. And if we do that, we there will be a linear term in the parabolic energy momentum relation. So the linear term will linearly related to potential. So as you can see, now there is two EK diagram. This blue color is for down spin electron, and this red color is for up spin electron. Okay, so another important thing about Rashba spin orbit coupling is that we can control Rashba spin orbit coupling by applying gate voltage. Now, so as you can see that the Rashba spin orbit coupling is related to Z, that is the direction of this electric field, electron momentum dot sigma, which is the electron spin. And this alpha is called Rashba coefficient. And as you can see that this Rashba coefficient is related to the gate voltage. If we change the gate voltage, then Rashba coefficient also changes. So why gate voltage? So what happens that gate voltage modifies the quantum well asymmetry and which in turn controls the magnitude of the Rashba spin orbit coupling. Okay, so this electric control of spin states is superior to magnetic field control owing to its better scalability and lower power conductors and the possibility of for local manipulation with spin states. Now we are going to talk about another important phenomenon that is spin precision. So this phenomenon is very important because we can use this phenomena to change the magnetization orientation of a ferromagnet. So, so uh, what is precision? So, so what will happen? So suppose this is a material. In this material, we are applying electric field along Z direction. So there will be Rashba magnetic field, relativistic Rashba magnetic field along Y direction. And if electron whose spin, whose spin is along H direction is flowing through the material, it will precise around this magnetic field BRY. And now an interesting consequence of the emergence of the Rashba field is the possibility to polarize flowing electrons along the direction of this field. And this phenomena is known as inverse spin galvanic effect. Now, this inverse spin galvanic effect can exert a torque on the magnetization of non centrosymmetric magnetic semiconductor or asymmetrically gross alpha magnetic layers. And this spin orbit can be used to excite or reverse the magnetization direction. And is therefore potentially useful for applications such as magnetic memory. So here we are applying an electric field rather than a spin current to change the magnetization of a magnet. So in conclusion, Rashbi spin orbit coupling enables unique properties as I have already discussed. Moreover, it also enables quantum spinal effect 
and unique topological properties that are uh, very much important in superconductors. And we can use this phenomena to create novel electronic devices. So this is all for today. If you have any questions and query, feel free to ask.